Now, what the hell is that? Oh my god, I'm scared of bugs. Hello and welcome to episode 3. So we are starting off, of course, where we left. And yeah, let's pack up our bags. And I guess travel out into the night to try and locate the village that we see now on the map. I think we shouldn't die, so hopefully that is true. I mean, we will see. So yeah, let's see. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host, Berrybyte. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. Now I hear some new noises. Ooh, what the hell is that? Okay, that doesn't look good. I said I will survive, but... Where did that guy go? Okay, those are some flames I don't want to be in. But he obviously sees me. And that's a lot of pigs. And what is that? Oh, there's something black chasing me too. But this guy seems pretty fast, so I think I'll wait till the daytime. Enjoy those piggling noises. While we're waiting... Blah, yeah, my language broke there. I discovered that Iron Helmet plus Diamond Helmet repairs the Diamond Helmet? That's interesting combination, but I guess that's how it works here. And the same looks like to be that we can upgrade our leather tunic to Sterling Chestplate, which provides a bit more protection and 6% illiter resistance. Whatever that means. The sun is setting up, so hopefully that thing that is trying to burn me should be burning. And we can run out and, you know... Yeah, I hear things burning, so... Hopefully we survive. Let's go, let's go to the village. Ignore everyone. Okay, so far so good. No one following us, apart from piglins, okay. Okay, that's a bird. We don't care about birds. And let's get to that village. I just realized I went completely different directions that I should have, so... Oh well. And there is actually a reason why I'm raiding those villages, because in my single player... Well, this is single player too, but in my test playthrough I found a infinite stake, or... I think it was... Yeah, eternal stake. So, it has a bit of cooldown, but it's basically infinite food, so that is what I'm trying to obtain from those villages, because I don't know where else could I find it. And here we are, looks like this village has a waystone, which is nice, and has some kind of villager or pillager outpost, which is weird, why does every village I find have a pillager outpost and this X guy yeah not today I am not dying today at least not yet oh and looks like there is a spawner somewhere around here and let me free oh that's just a villager and a warrior villager where is the spawner hidden? Maybe inside of those blocks? Yes, it is. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's not good, that's not good. Iron Golem, please help me. Why is Iron Golem so destroyed? Man, I need to reinforce you. I need all the help you can give me. Yeah. Why do you attack me? I, I, oh, I hate this mind mechanic. You accidentally hit an iron golem and now you are his enemy also. Like, this is such a dumb mechanic. I hate Minecraft. Sometimes. Let's do this. Let's speed run. So, we dig ourselves under here. Quickly. Okay. And now we destroy the spawner. Safely. And hopefully that iron golem forgets about us. Har, har to you too. Hello. Yeah, 
Uh, I'm not stuck with you, you're stuck with me here. Perfect. You're perfect. Aim helps me. Okay, that's not perfect. Come on. Why are you invincible? There we go. There is more of you. Is there another spawner I missed? Come on, come down. That's per Oh! There's way more of you. Which is not good. Looks like that's all of them. Hopefully. Yep, I don't see another spawner. So let's place that there back. And let's see. Oh, no, 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 there is... Certainly another spawner around here somewhere that I don't see. Where are they spawning from? I don't seem to see the spawner, so yeah. Let's explore. Glass item per frame. Peter's journal. Oh! Yep, there is certainly one more spawner around here somewhere. But where? Maybe under here? No. Oh, I see where it is. Oh, that, that's cheeky. That's cheeky. Okay, we're gonna break that really fast. And free this village of those pillagers. Hopefully before they respawn. Come on, spawner. Whew. Yeah, that was that. Now let's read the journal. Journal day 64. Today a crow attacked Johnny. Can you believe it? A crow. He convinced us it was a witch in disguise, so we captured it. We're taking it back to the fortress. Either Johnny is right or he's losing it. Just between you and me, I think Johnny lost it a long time ago. Okay, some villager drama. Okay, emeralds, we like that. XP orbs. So far we didn't die yet. The bison fur can go back on the ground. Round nose rips. Bonded leather. Oh, it spins! What? Evoker's, Evoker's orders. The Evoker sent us on a scouting mission to find a labyrinth of mysteries. They think some secret treasure is hidden there. I think they have no idea what they are talking about. We could really use some new leadership among the illagers. Okay, interesting. What do I do with the crow? Okay, I free you guys. You can go now. Come on. You could have been useful. Yeah, you're free now. And unemployed. Just like me. So? Hold on. So? But why can I... Why can I eat the soap? What did I expect? Hide pot challenge. Okay. You see, this is why I hate this movement. Like, why am I... I want to go. Please let me go. And let's see. Is the iron golem still mad at us? Or did he forget we... Chipped him with the sword? Okay, he seems chill. There seems to be a lot of beekeepers in this village. I guess this is farming village by the looks of it. Hmm, yeah. So what should be our goal for today? Well, looks like we are having troubles with our inventory management. So our goal for today is to expand our inventory. Now, how do we do that? We craft a backpack. Right? Right. You need at least three eyes to use this. Okay, we don't craft backpack. Scratch that. Oh, I like this feature. There is like quick stack to nearby chest and drop dump to nearby chest. And it just sorted all the items I already have in my inventory into the chests. Nice. So let's set up the goal for today. So instead of getting a backpack, we... I guess should go to nether, but to go to nether we need uh, 
obsidian, but to get obsidian we need diamond pickaxe. So how do we get a diamond pickaxe, you might be asking. Well, that is a good question because I don't know either. If the deep, well underground is dangerous like we see in the last episode, what are our chances of surviving down there? Maybe if we had iron armor it would be a bit better. But I'm not sure, those things just took half of my health in one hit. So yeah, we'll figure something out. Right? Right. So I set up a temporary waypoint to... Oh, possible lava source and... Oh, hmm, a cave. You know how I like caves. Same as I like my uh, corny jokes. Oh man, let's go down to the cave, I guess. I see a lot of obsidian down there, but I don't see lava. So hopefully, we won't die. Wasn't there a lava? Or I was crazy, I probably was crazy. So the good thing is, I hear lava. Oh, what is this? Hello, close quarters. What? Ah, we open chests, okay. And that's a lot of- Oh, mushrooms can get this stack! Oh, that's OP, that's actually pretty OP. Now, what is- Diamonds, diamonds, the, the, the diamonds. Oh god, oh god, that's not good for diamonds. Yes, what the hell is this? Give me my diamond, diamond, my card. Oh my god, I was lied to, that's not a diamond. And is this like underwater section that is not underwater for some reason? By the looks of it, it is. Oh, and what is this? Hunter in ore? Fragment of magic. What? That's something new. Okay, okay, I like that. What I don't like is there is a lot of lava. I mean, obsidian, which was lava. But there's no more lava. So it's a bit confusing on what should we do here. Hopefully we find more lava down here because we are technically at lava level. But this looks like also like trouble level. Where the thing that can do shot us spawns. Oh yeah, this is a big cave and there is a spawner down there. Yeah, torches don't light up stuff like this. Oh well, I guess it's time to die, probably. Where is the entrance I see into the cave? Somewhere around here, yeah. Time to die. That's not a diamond door. Oh boy. Oh, the blue moon feels... I'm feeling lucky. That's good to hear. So, OBS decided to F up my recording, and that was the footage that you seen that was sped up. Me mumbling a lot about nothing. Well, or cut out, because, you know, I talked about a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff happened, but yeah. Oh well, let's continue from here. Basically what was cut out, we found a cave, the cave goes deep, I'm scared, yada yada yada, probably gonna die, who knows. Like, look at this cave. And I hear lava, we are looking for obsidian, because, you know, I need obsidian. Are we gonna die? Probably. Oh, I hear spider link. And yeah, let's light this up and probably die to some unbearable horrors of this mod pack. Staring into the void. Amazing. And yeah. Some new ore, Deep Slate Aquamarine. Now, I don't know what that ore is, but I'll take it. And we found some fake diamonds too. I don't know if that is recorded because, you know, yay OBS. And amazing recording software that obviously doesn't like to bug out. So, let's see what the spawner is, and hopefully it's not something dangerous. I think I know what that spawner is, it's a monster box, so basically, it's basically a spawner that spawn waves of mobs, and if we survive, we get rewarded. Now, I might be wrong, so we'll get to that soon. Let me just light up everything so I don't die from some crazy thing diamonds. Oh yeah, what the hell? Again, fake diamonds. Diamond termite chart. So I need nine of termite charts to create one diamond. What the hell is this? What the hell was this scary thing? Holy hell! So many creepers around me. 
And I see a silhouette of some kind of creature in the dark over there. And I don't know what it is. And I want to go and see and probably die. But you know. I can't really do that because there is just... Oh, it's a tortoise. Near a passive redstone tortoise. Okay, I won't touch you because you are cool with me. Okay, so I created a small safe place for our mining operations. And hopefully it will save us in case something horrible comes our way. That is the point, actually, but we will see. Oh, what the hell? I thought it's a chest. It's a mimic. Do you drop something nice, at least? Carved turns that were invisible. Oh. Hmm. Does this mean the mobs see us? Or not? Oh, and that's an Enderman! We need to kill an Enderman. And by the looks of that spider, the mobs indeed see us. But we need to kill an Enderman. Come here. Hopefully that spider doesn't come and clone us. Okay, no ender pearl. No, no ender pearl. But looks like the mobs still see us, so I don't see a reason why the invisibility cloak is good. Unless we are without the armor. Maybe. Yeah, those spiders obviously see me. Oh, diamonds! Yeah, we're putting back our armor and we're gonna fight for those diamonds. Wait, are you hostile? Okay, I'm confused now. So I just refreshed my knowledge on how Minecraft works and invisibility doesn't make mobs neutral to you. Oh, it's a diamond and more diamonds. In other words, the... Well, invisibility makes mobs neutral to you. If you are fully invisible, don't wear armor and... What the hell are you? Don't wear armor. Okay. And don't have any items in hand. So... That's not me. What is that? Hold on, hold... Hold on, that's not a small enderman. That's a big boy enderman. There's a bigger... Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. That's a big boy boss enderman. No, I'm, not, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to get owned. Now, what the hell is that? Oh my god, I'm scared of bugs. <laughs> what the hell is... Why is that underground and it's probably coming to me? And my guess, oh, yep, my guess is it's hostile. And what else? It probably can climb if I would hide. And, oh, is it dead? I won? Woo! Yeah, that's not a pretty sight, especially if you have a fear of big bucks. Not a pretty sight. Goodbye, cave. I'm gonna return on daytime. Nope. On side note, what can I do with this? I can make cave centipede leggings. Enables wall climbing. Oh, that's nice. Or I can cook them. Okay. And what can I do with the heart of diamond? Heart of earth? Heart of sea? Heart of diamond times two? Lost eye. Oh, okay. That's one of the eyes. Or tiny potato, okay. And what can I make with Heart of Earth? I have no idea. And judging by the emptiness of my beds, the villagers really did not survive those nights out here, eh? 
But I didn't see them on the map, so that's a plus. Nothing scary outside apart from normal mobs. Okay, okay, nice, nice. What is this? Oh, yeah! This is today's mission. And that is our portal home. Nice! This couldn't plan out better. And we got a paraglider. Nice. The hardest part of getting another portal is actually getting a flint from this gravel. And there we go. Goal for today. Complete. Whoa, what the hell? Let's enter the nether and get owned. The nether cries three eyes worth of power. What? Okay. Well, I guess that's that for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And yeah, stay awesome and see you guys next time. Bye.